Hello, Graham from Aaron Games here, and welcome to part three at the introductory session of the Advanced Fighting Fantasy um, campaign, actual play campaign. Um, so far, our heroes have escaped a raging mob uh, whipped up by a strange woman. Uh, they've uh, wandered through sewers, fought rats, they've avoided the flames from a demon's head and they fought some skeletons, demolished some skeletons, uh, before fighting some rather strange blood lurchers uh, in a room that have already killed some tomb robbers. But they've still got to get out of here. They've still got to find a way out um, so that they can avoid the mob. And as you can see from the map, I'll just recenter it, they're in a room with a couple of dead bodies in it. One of them took a bit of an injury, but not too bad. But there's only really one way onwards unless they want to go all the way back via the demon's head. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I strongly advise you to watch part watch parts one and two. If you have watched parts one and two already, then you're ready to go straight into the action as I ask. So, what exactly are you lot going to do? Hmm. Well, first of all, I'm going to... Since we just found some rations... You have. Can we give some to Zimrika to get him a bit you can indeed Zimrika do you wish to eat a ration I'm sure they're fine to eat oh yeah they? yeah they're, they're fine they've only been down there a couple of days and they're all preserved and wrapped up and and sealed so you eat a provision and that allows you to get your stamina oh back up to eight it re restored itself to ten with the technical difficulties that's fine. I've put it back up to eight. Mm. So you feel a bit better. But you've still got to find a way onwards. Eat, I want to um, give eat these... Eat more food. Unit 20 Ooh. day count Eat the rest of your meal now. You can, yeah. You can benefit from two meals a day. Okay. It's better to eat it now than to die... Wondering why you didn't eat three points worth of health. Yep, there's a point. So you are back up to your full complement of stamina now. Mm, okay. What weapons? You say these guys got weapons or not? No, pickaxes, shovels, that sort of thing. Okay. None of them are magical, are they? No. Nope. I, I want to give them some sort of way. some sort of burial, or at least say. You know, tidy the corpses up, so a prayer. Yep. So down the other end. Yep, you can certainly do that. If you them. want to give them a proper burial, I suggest you come back when we've escaped with our lives rather than now. Yeah, I'm not going to dig into the stone floor now, but at least just, you know, tidy the corpses up and. Yeah, you, 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 you make them just a little bit more. And presentable as it were I'll say a little prayer over them yep who knows they might have been followers of Blantanka can't ask them now well if they're from get, Kull there's a fair chance get Joe Bar to wrap them up in some bandages because he's quite good at that <laughs> <laughs> not that good at least they won't complain well this is true might come right. back to mummies you never know uh, so we need to get on don't yep, we you do you have the crossroads there Looks like the only way is south. And well, unless we go right back to the start. Yeah, if you put yourselves where you want to be standing as he opens the door. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. I want to get out of this dungeon. Zimrika? Zim? Okay. Wait, is there a door there? Yep. There you are. Yep. I will cast here and listen at the door. You hear absolutely nothing. There's nothing living behind that door. Well, I guess there's another dead person. Hmm. Well, let's find out. I'll Can open it. Out? You open the door. Oh. And you see a room. Oh, hang on. There's, for some reason, the other door is open. Shouldn't be. Uh, this room has one other door and a floor thick with dust. In the centre of the room 
stands a huge clay golem, its eyes glowing dimly red. As you open the door, a deep rumble comes from the creature which says, Thou shalt not pass. And I've got a nice well, image here of a clay golem. Which can I share. put things in, in the dust? We might have a problem here. Can I use construct law? You can. That's what it's designed for. It's hard. Yep, give me a roll. Do the footprints go into the room? Yeah, and in fact, they go through the room. It was gold. You can give me a give me a perception roll, Joe Barn. Mm. Awareness. Yeah, awareness roll. Right. No, okay. So, um, uh, Zillick thinks, yeah, they're pretty tough, but they're not baked clay. So they are f somewhat sticky. Sticky? Yeah. Pearl. Don't use sharp edges on it. Use your blunt weapons. Wait a second. We've got some pickaxes. That's yeah, don't, don't do a lot of damage. Sticks. Don't do much damage mm -hmm. to pickaxes. You need blunt weapons. Arm oh. yourself with maces and clubs. Well, to be fair, I don't think blunt weapons are going to be any different to edged weapons. Well, well we don't have any maces or clubs, Zillig. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, that's, a, that's, that's an even more pressing reason to not arm yourself with maces and clubs. Hmm. Hmm. Well, he has got a, a hammer. Whether we can borrow his, it's either. It doesn't seem to be reacting to us talking, does it? No. I mean, it's not like. I mean, either we all rush it and try and bash it down, or we'll go all the way back past the demon's head and see what's past the other door. So, with construct law, what's the weakness of a clay golem? Uh, doesn't have a particular weakness. How tough is it? Like, giant well, it's, tough. well, it's tough. It's tougher than you. Oh. Okay. Um, and the outer clay provides a reasonable amount of protection, but it's also somewhat sticky. Oh. So, ah. Yeah. Have we got any? You say there's some flasks of oil? There were three flasks of oil on the tomb robbers. Uh -huh. You're planning to bake it into a hardened form? <laughs> well, it's very let's strange. See, shall we? For some for some reason, the only camera I can now see is Simon's. Oh, it's still up there. Oh, they're, it's all right. They've come back Just again. Oh, you're joking. Oh, that's no, all right. They've come back. Yeah, yeah. That's, I don't know what happened there. Uh, for some reason, Simon took over. I blame I blame Joe Barnes. So is this oil just normal lantern oil, Graham? Yeah, so no, three flasks of normal lantern oil, yeah. Aha! We're all, we're all tough. We're all, we're all in pretty good shape. If we all rush it, we'll be able to bash it down, won't we? Yeah, you should be able to. I prefer prepare for a lot around them. <laughs> the theory. I'll grab some of that rag, Graham, and stuff it in. I, I don't want to fight a burning clay golem. <laughs> well, we don't have to. <laughs> okay, what's the plan? We throw it in, shut the door, and let him burn. All he said is that we can't pass. Yeah. Although Zillick mm. is fairly certain that they're pretty fire resistant. Wait. Uh, okay. No. Hold That's on. Why the line opens with clay. <laughs> Wait. Who's the best fighter amongst us? Pretty much even a get between the other three. Okay, director. Iron hand. Yep. Is it one spell per person or one spell per wizard? One spell per target. So I could cast it on all of them? You could. 
Right. Okay. Hold on. Okay. And? What do you mean, and? Hold on! <laughs> See, magic takes time. You I'm can't thinking. just click your fingers and expect everything to happen immediately, can you? Well, I can't feel anything. That's why. Wait. I'm... I don't think he's done anything yet. All right, can. So, how long does a minute last in this game? That's six rounds. Game? Six rounds. It's ten seconds a round, is it? Yep. Okay. How about we're going to need to smash our way through this room. I will enhance all of your abilities to fight. Stand here. And I will go Hulan, mm -hmm. Joban, Zimrika, all of them to get Iron Hand, and then all of them to get Strength. That cost me six points. But you only, have to write. The only. only oh, yes. Yeah, so three, three minutes for Iron Hand. Yeah. So I'll do Iron Hand first. Strength last less. So I'll do. Yeah. Hulan first. Joban. Zimrika. So Iron Hand, Iron Hand, Iron Hand. Yep. And then Strength, Strength, Strength. Kill. Okay. So what you need to do well, then, the, the three of you that's had it cast on you, yeah. please increase your current skill to one more than it than than the initial value. Okay. So, uh -huh. I haven't uh, got a hand to hand combat, but. And then what you need to do is click on your weapon um, weapons to bring up the box. And at the bottom of the of that, you'll see a box that says damage modifier. It's just below where it says related skill. Yeah. Can you put a two in there, please? While he's doing that, Graham, yep. can I prepare? Yep. For and cast. As many rounds as I can while he's doing that. Yeah. And what do you want to cast? I'm going to zap it. You want to cast zap, do you? Hmm. You do realise if you take it out, he's then wasted six magic points. Well, you think... I'm thinking it might be a bit tough. Well, it might be, but Zap does quite a lot of damage. Well, yeah. It's up to you. It's given us... Come on. I'm All right, what well, then? We'll do it. Save it. Cause... I want you to be a sorcerer. Listen, <laughs> sorcerer. <laughs> Don't burn your own essence to win a fight that I've just made winnable for you. Yeah. Okay, Save all it. right, okay. It's given you a bit of a hint there, I think. And then you three are rushing it, yes? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right, move How yourselves you into this? the room then. How do you do the weapon again, Graham? So, so click on your um, the red box at the end of the weapon track, damage track. What? For any weapon? Uh, right, yeah, no, for, for your Falchion and for your Chris. Yeah. And then, you see where it says damage modifier? Yeah. Put a two in there. Okay. Yeah, that's it. So when you roll the damage, it will add two to your D6 roll. Oh, uh, right. Which is the effect so, of the strength spell. And does it you've... stay on there all the time, then? Until you take it out? Yeah, and then once the... Sp and do it for the Chris. Then once the spell has finished... Mm -hmm. you take the damage two modifiers off and you put your skill back to uh, the same as initial. It's only two, it's only two rounds, then. Um, no. No. The skill, so the skill lasts for 18 rounds. Oh, gosh. And the damage will only last for three rounds. No, six. One yeah, but, but it takes you three rounds. Well, actually four, because it takes you three rounds to cast it. Yeah, so essentially, I've just given you all plus one skill, plus two damage for, for four rounds. For four rounds, yeah. Four round. And you've also got plus two to your attack rolls because you're outnumbering it three to one. Uh, so uh, easy. So mm. I will roll for the clay golem. Not going to be sat there. I will oh, roll for that. the clay golem. 
Now, actually, you only get plus one outnumbering because the clay golem has two attacks. And he's going to go for... Guess. Zimrika. <laughs> and Hulan. Okay. What? Two attacks. He's got two attacks. So you get Come plus on. one for outnumbering. So I'm going to roll the attack on Hulan first. Right. So you can put plus one modifier. My attack roll is rubbish and is a 12. Oh, oh hang on. I've done something weird there. All right. No, let's try that. You get a 16, so you hit the clay golem. Why does he get plus nine? Uh, because okay. he's got um, six skill now. He's got two weapons and he's got an outnumbering bonus. I think changing the really? damage thing kind of might have mucked it up a little bit. Plus two damage, remember? It won't, it won't roll damage. It just comes up with a strange message. So I'm going to have to do this manually. Um, hang on. You didn't put two in there, did you? I've just taken it out. Oh, again. right. Let me try rolling it, see if it works from my end. Right, okay. it works from my end. Okay. Which is strange. So you did five damage. Quite why it's not working from yours, I don't know. We'll have a look at that. Mm. Yes, it did five damage, including the positive. Okay. Yep. What's yeah. say seven on my screen? That's the roll. Though. That's the roll Damages. total. Five. Okay. If you look at the chat log, it says sword did five damage. Yep. Chonk. Uh, so, on the other side of it, I will roll versus Zimrika now. trying to mash us into the ground oh that's a better roll that's a total of 17 yeah. Zimrika can't beat that 13 so my damage against you Get is 3 damage yeah. not too bad it and is you absorb none so you take three stamina damage and then Joe Barn you get to attack against the 17 because that's the nearest one and you get a 16 so you just miss now uh, Hulan you hit the clay golem can you roll a d6 for me please yeah and try not to roll a one for your own benefit okay okay my sword does not get stuck does not get stuck to it uh, right, so on the following round, it's going to attack Hulan again and Zimrika again. Unfortunately, Hulan. Okay. My attack, oh, is an 18 this time. You still get your plus one outnumbering, though. And you get a 17. Oh. So close. So the damage I do is three points. And oh, your, I didn't have my second attack. No. And your armour? Oh, no. Okay. You'll have to remember that next time. I'm getting a weird message on my um, armour roll as well. Okay. okay. Can you do it from your end? Yeah, I'll do it from my end. Absorb two damage. Okay. So you only take one. I've changed that. Yep. Yeah, there are a couple of still slightly strange things with the rule set. I tested it as much as I could, but hey, you can never test everything. Uh, right, Zimrika. My attack roll is a 15. Don't forget you get plus one for outnumbering. Um, I don't know if that's added, but... Oh! Oh dear. Oh dear. What? Oh. That was a cock die. Ah, uh, well, it's come up yeah. as a one and a one. <laughs> yeah, I'm not falling for that one. I'm not falling for that one. Been doing this too long. I've just shared a table with you. Could you make a roll on it, please? I can't see the table. You drop your weapon. Take you Wait. two full rounds to recover that weapon. Which one? Your falchion, because that's the role you're attacking with. Okay. You can still attack with your Chris, though, now. 
Okay. Come on, I got a trick you, bugger. No. <laughs> <laughs> Quality, well, I just closed that table. Oh. Right, so can you can you roll on the can you roll on the table and we'll work out just what's happened to you this round? <sighs> Let's go and get the table. <laughs> right, you fall over. Right, so oh, you try to hit the weapon, though. you try to hit the the clay golem. And he, in fact, hits you instead, doing three damage. Can you roll your dodge? How can I if I fall over? Yeah, you still get your dodge because he still hit you. What, because I'm falling over? At least? Yeah, you, can, you can dodge <laughs> as you're falling over. I can't believe how, how clumsy you are and he's missing. Yeah. <laughs> that actually saves me, probably. Oh, clown. So oh, if you roll your dodge, and then I can... Okay. Oh, no. Dodge is increased by one because of that spell, isn't it? Nope. I wish. What a so, difference. he slams a huge fist into the side of your head, making you throw your sword away, your falchion, and fall to the ground. Oh, dear. Uh, right, and Joe Barn, you need to beat an. Uh, where is it? An, eight, an 18? No, 15. 15. Why didn't we just let you zap it? <laughs> Sorry, we'll take the first one. Well, they, they both hit anyway. So, you hit, you hit him. Hmm. Five damage, and I stop two, so you do three damage. D6? Uh, yeah, D6, please. See if you get a one. You do. <laughs> Your sword sticks to him. So we've got... What a shocker. We've got Zimrika lying on the floor, holding only his dagger. I'm zapping. And we've got Joe Barn with no weapon. Now, to be fair, the clay golem is beginning to fall apart. So, this round, what are you doing, Zimrika? Realistically, your choices are limited to crawling away or trying to get up. No, I'm going to light a flask oil and throw it at it. Oh! <laughs> What? Do not use fire. Do not use fire to take out a clay golem. Do you wish to use fire? No, okay then, if he's shouting at me. Okay. I'll try and I'll crawl and get my weapon then. Try and avoid Right, so you want to start getting your weapon. It's gonna take you two full rounds to get your weapon and one full round to get up. Hang on, can I fire my bow from here? Uh uh, no, because you're in combat. Okay. Did you hear me, director? Sorry, I didn't know. Oh, what, I'll, grab a, oh. I'll grab a scimitar then and fight with that instead. Right, can you repeat that, Zilic? I'll grab yeah. a scimitar. No, I want to do something. Right, you want to do something this round? Yeah. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Are you casting uh, a spell? Yeah. Um, I am going to cast with no enhancement. I'm just going to befuddle the golem. Okay. Fuddle? Oh, no, no, no. Wait a second. Oh, no. It's, tu it's touch, touch only. Yep. Mm, I've already given him everything I need. I've got. Now, I've got to set him fight it out. Off we go. Okay, so Zimrika's going to start trying to grab his scrabbling around to get his scimitar back. No, Joe... I won't. I'm going to draw a scimitar and get up. Oh, you've got a spare one, haven't you? 
Uh, yeah, well, I've got some spare weapons, yeah. Right, <laughs> yeah, he has got some spare weapons, that's true, actually. So you're going to draw a scimitar. What's Joe Barn doing? I'm going to try and fish my sword back out of the golem. Right, okay. So that's going to need a skill roll from you, and that's going to be your round. So it is going to try and punch. I might as well hand him a scimitar as well. You want to hand him a scimitar? Are you getting up as well? Well, it depends if I can do it all in the action. Oh, you can, yeah, you can do that. Yep. So you're getting to your feet, drawing a scimitar and handing another one to Joe Barm. It's going to try and punch Joe Barm. Um. And it's going to try and punch Hulan. Should I get the outnumber bonus? Uh, no, you don't anymore because there's only two of you and it's got two attacks. You're not outnumbering it now. So, Hulan, mm -hmm. my roll this time is a 17. Ooh. Mm. Four on a five, it's okay. not bad. Mm. And you get a 14. So, it hits you for three points damage. And your armour absorbs none. So, use that. Uh, Joe Barn, you've got scimitar now, and my total this round is a 16. Is it scimitar yeah. a different skill line to a sword? Nope, it's still sword, so just keep using your sword. 16, so that's a draw. Good. So, on the following round, this is the last round of your uh, strength. Strength, because they stagger. One, then one, then one yep. loses. Who did you cast it on first? Uh, I think I did believe I said Hulan, Joban, Zimrika. Okay. In order to cast all my spells. So, last round of your strength, Hulan. So, this round it is going for... Zimrika and Joban. So Hulan and Zimrika, your target you're aiming for is a 15. We get the plus one back again. But you get a plus one now, all of you. Yep. I, I'm going to cast a spell this round as well. Okay, well, that goes first. So what are you casting? No. I'm going to cast push. Okay. And I'm going to attempt to push it over. Right. Okay, so let's just make a skill roll. Yeah, you can't push it over, but you do cause it to stagger slightly. So it either gets minus one or minus two it, for the rest of this round. It gets a mi it gets a minus one. Right, there you go, it's everybody. So, big. so you do hit it, Hulan What's and the, um, the, is there? A, you can test for luck to increase your damage, can't you? You can, yeah, but you roll your damage first and then you test for luck to increase it if you need to. Okay. Can you roll my damage because I can't do the plus two on it? Yeah. Okay. Oh. No, I don't need to. There's five damage and that's more than enough. It oh. crumbles into a heap of wet clay. And I didn't get my sword wet. stuck in it. It's wet clay now, isn't it? Yep. Can I make a magic constructs rule to scoop all the clay up into a sack and at some point in the future remould it back into my own golem? No, because it weighs about half a ton. Hmm. Right, okay. What if we got a wheelbarrow? <laughs> what about if um, I'm going to take a sample of the clay... You can take a sample, okay, that's fine. Yeah, to enable me to analyse what sort of clay it is that is needed to make a clay golem. Yeah, you can take that. Uh, so, we have two injured people. Both Zimrika and Hulan are both injured. Mm. Um, I've got the healing. Yeah, so what is your healing at? Six. Wait, we're doing it quickly. No, no, but if you've got it at six... It's better that I think that your practice yep. level is used over my attempt to guess what I need to do. 
Go on then. Okay. Joe Barton, we'll give... Right, we'll do Hulan first. Boom. Okay, and that's a failure. So your bandaging is pretty rubbish there. And okay. Zimrica? Take the plus one out, by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Re re return your skills to five. No, we've got a couple of minutes. Let's no, push yeah. on. Oh, that, no, it's right. It's got you've got a good few rounds yet. I'll, but I yeah, will remove. Yeah, but two minutes no, for. Let's push on while this lasts. Yeah, yeah. he's put. He's, um, he's yeah, saying. He's he's got got the modifier plus one in. Not the skill bonus. The modifier is he's left yeah. in. Yeah. Which is actually why it failed. Oh, it yeah. did. So you rolled a seven. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah negative. You shouldn't have okay. got a six. Yeah. So, Hulan, you are healed back up to eight stamina. I'll gobble some rations while we're doing the other one. Okay. Uh, is that a crit success then, based on that? Uh, it is indeed, and that heals four. Um, to, uh, jo uh, to Zimrika. Yeah, you were laughing at my bandaging earlier. Yep, he does a masterful job this time. And you feel a lot, lot better. What, has he just cut my blood flow off or strangled me? No, no, no. <laughs> but Hulan has opened the other door and you see a passageway heading onwards. No, let's... Are you zooming on while we've got the plus one skill? Well, you've got the skill. Let's yeah. do Zim's rolls before we move. Take his hammer. What Zim's? What rolls? What rolls? He's got a heel roll, hasn't he? Yeah, done it. Oh, I'll heal him yeah, if it's else will. Done it. Is he, is, he, is he injured, or is he on full? No, he's still got. He's he's still slightly injured. Yeah, well, I might as well do a heel roll on him, might I? No, no, no. We've done heel rolls on him. You can only do one. All right, okay. I'll move um, on. So, you can now see that you're at a place where there's a door in the southern wall, and it and the passageway carries on round. But slumped opposite an or the ornate wood and iron door is the body of another tomb raider. Disturbances Ooh. in the dust on the floor show that he's probably crawled here from the east. Is he still alive? alive? He's dead. <sighs> and tucked into his belt is a scroll. Whoa. Right. And over. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Right. Yeah. Very carefully, just look around to see if there's any sort of trap or something that's shot him out of this door no but looking into the dust you can see there is a bit of blood in the dust it looks like he's been walloped by the clay golem and he's managed to get through the door and crawl around here right before expiring well in that case while well, we still got this spell going yep okay so you grab the scroll uh, well I don't but so who who's grabbing the scroll? I will on the way past. They need to move on okay. quickly. All right, let's move Zimrick up because I assume he's uh, continuing to to Come follow. On, right, so you open the, the the door to the south, and you see a long room with six statues lining the near end, all of fierce-looking warriors in ancient armour. The far end has a stone throne carved with skull motifs and magical sigils. One door exits the room on the right hand wall. Between the statues and the throne, a complex symbol is engraved in faintly glowing red lines on the floor. As you take in the room, the symbol starts to glow brighter and a shape <laughs> begins to form on the throne. How long have we got this spell? Um, Wait a minute. Yeah, you've got you've got at least another minute and a half. Right. They've got like two minutes. The first person's strength hadn't worn off. Oh no! This could bear in mind that it, it took a minute to cast it, a minute for the strength to wear off, and a minute left. No. A couple. All right. It a couple of. Yeah, 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 yeah. It cast me ten seconds. Ten seconds. Ten seconds to cast a three-minute duration spell. And then. And then it ten and seconds. Then, ten seconds. Ten seconds to add. So that's one Strength. minute gone of the first um, Iron Hand. And then they went in and fought. 
which and then did um, uh, a couple of rounds of healing and getting around here. That's another six rounds. So they've got about a minute left on the first one. Yep, okay. There's still a minute. Uh, yep. Plus one skill, which is a 25% right. increase. Or 20. So, you're going into the room. What's Zimrika and Zillik doing? Mm, yeah, well, I can't remember oh. Zimrika oh, being cousin. behind me. No, he's not. He's in front of you. So I'm coming to here. Okay. I'll let him past if he wants to. Zim? Yeah, I've got the map up. So. Haven't you? Can no, you see it? Can you see reason. it now? Or is it hidden? Oh yeah, I have. It's it, right. Yeah. So you can see a shape is starting to form. Uh, can I have an undead law roll from Hulan, please? Mm -hmm. <laughs> We hate undead. Wait a second. I'm pretty much as good as him at undead lore. Uh, that's actually a success because your skill is boosted by one. Oh, yeah, that's true. I won't, I won't bother rolling. I'll just let him. Is there it. nothing he can't do? And. Ooh, yeah, no. fight. You think it might be a death wraith. Oh, mm. nice. That's bad. It is bad because they can only be harmed by magical weapons. Uh, oh, everyone out of the room. Right, Zillick, um, can I have a construct law roll, please? I'll look at the um, I'll look at the mage users. Whew. You think that the statues are living statues, but you think that three of them are inactive. Wait, 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 I can't see though, that, but... What the hell does that mean? Where, where are the statues? Well, if you look on the map, can you see the statues yep. either side of where <laughs> Joe Barn and Hulan are standing? Isn't there like seven of them in the six, room? Six statues, yeah. There's one at the bottom? Yeah, that's a throne. So, I reckon how many of them are active? Three are active, three are inactive. Pull back! Fight them in the corridor! The statues are active! Right. Now you tell me. I just um, told you! Right. Exactly. They, they're, they're active, but they're not yet moving. Okay. So, Zillick, get in front of me. Protect me. So... Um, is he going to let me go past, Graham? I assume he is, Simrika. Are you going to let him go past? I'm asking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Barge past him. Right. Oh, I'm pulling back, then. <laughs> Are you going to pull back past me, Joe Ban, or... Yeah. Uh, I, I can't... I'm going to... I'm going to start to prepare, I think. Zimrika, can I have a, um awareness roll, please? Me? Yep. Mm. Uh, we need to pull back right to the corridor. Yeah, I think he's in my way. Look. I mean, oh my goodness. Okay. Um, Have you remember, Hang on, you, you... Sight. Hang on, um, yeah, yeah. Um, so... You've got... Oh, you haven't got awareness, have you? No. That's all right. It's, you only failed it by one. That's enough. Um, you hear a, 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 a voice from both east and west. Boom. Thou shalt not pass. Hey, <laughs> flipping it. Okay. This is the only way out. we get the trap. But I don't want to be the only person stood in this room getting beaten. So can we pull back? Yeah, well, Tim Ricker. You you are aware that the death wraith you can't hurt. Yeah, but we've got a scroll that can kill undead. If it does enough damage. Well, what uh, can we got? Or we run past it. Can it be damaged by fire? You don't know. Well, it can be damaged by magic itself. It Is might that... be damaged by magic itself, yeah. 
Can I um, make a law roll against what it could be damaged by? Yep. Taking into consideration that I do have um, second sight, yep. which enables me to include spirit like undead such as ghosts and active spells, magical wards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, yeah, you can have a a law roll. Right. Where are we going to fight them? On the beaches. Oops. I, either we pull right back into the corridor or you all get in this room uh, pull back I'm going down here okay yeah. push I'll push Joe Ban back back down here okay you can see that the door around that corner is open Zilek yeah and there is a clay golem what didn't you hear him? I sort of did. Right, up that end. The door's open. Yep, door's open. Right. So, in my go, I'll step to the door, yep. shut it, and cast a lock on it. Okay. Right. What are you doing, Joe Barn? The, um, death, the death rate is still forming, by the way. I'm preparing. I can't... I'm just going to prepare to zap it. Okay. Can I have an awareness roll from the three of you in the middle of the corridor? I'll also shout out down the corridor. I'm halfway to being completely exhausted from this adventure. You hear the door to the east open, the one that you came through. No, do you hear anything thudding along, though? Uh, not yet. Are they regenerated? Right. Change of plan. plan, guys. Maybe we just try and rush through this room and get out before the death ray forms. Yeah. Okay. And we get stomped by golems and we get stomped by living stats. That sounds brilliant. <laughs> I totally agree with that. <laughs> right. Ha, ha, ha. So who's going in first? Um, I will, just because I'm wearing some sort of armour. Okay. So you run to that door, yeah? Yeah, I'm going to peg it to the door. Come okay, on. you you open the door. It's not locked, and you see a corridor, thirty-five feet long, at the end of which is a stone archway, within which is a slow swirl of blue and grey. As you watch, runes begin to glow on the archway itself and the swirl within begins to churn slightly faster. Weird glowy thing. I don't know whether we just dive through. Hold on. Magic. Where are we going to go? I'm coming. I'm coming. I think his magic lost better than my magic lost. Right. Yeah, someone. You're not a magician. You're a sorcerer. Mm. This, this. Do I do I know like how deadly death rapes are? Are they like basically you die? No, but they are really quite nasty. Yeah. I'm kind of like evaluating just leaping through the swirly thing versus Dang. offering a prayer to my to my. To glam tanker and they're just leaping through. Anyway, come on. Right. I think the decision's been made. The death wraith is not quite formed yet, but almost. Well, I'm waiting for Zillik. Is there a door next to Hulan? There is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but Yep, with the Move down the down. corridor! Come on, let me through! Move <laughs> along! I'm gonna guard the door. Zim, cousin, come on! Barge yes, him sorry. past him. Okay. I'll wait here, ready to get everyone past. Right. I'll make you seal the door. Zim, golems appear at both ends of the corridor that you're standing in. Alright, alright, I'm coming. You shutting the door after you? Oh, God. Shut no. that door! 
was. Yeah, but it's not locked. Are you going to lock it? Well, no, Just but... Just shut it. Or I'll <laughs> shut it. Just get it down here. Shut it, doesn't it? Okay. Come on. Come right. on, Zim. Quick, run. So, is anyone going down the end of the corridor? What I'm doing yep. is I'm waiting till the last person crosses the threshold yep. of the door in between me and Hulan. Yep. And as soon as someone passes it, I'm locking it with magical lock. Okay. So, Zim, you're running through? Yeah. Okay, as you get past him... The death wraith forms, and you hear it scream an unearthly wail at you. Right. Mm. Right. <laughs> you can hear a grating sound from the statues. Come on, let's. Let's move jump. Along. It's time to move out. Right. Who's Bye. jumping through first? I'm jumping through. Right, um, you jump through. Joe Barn vanishes from your vision. When I've seen that Zilli, uh, that my cousin has got through the door safely, yep. then I'm going to okay. offer so, a prayer to Glantanka and then step through. Okay, so you two vanish. Right, at this point, the death wraith comes through the door. Ah! And attack Zimrika. Oh, God. We did. Right. No, I need a combat roll from you. Can I go defensive? Uh, you can, yep. Yeah. Oh, what has kicked me out again? Oh, no, not now. We've only got a few moments to go. Are you all right if I roll for you? Yeah. Um, so you want to be so you get plus two to your roll. So Zimrika gets a plus two on his roll and gets a total of sixteen. The Death Wraith gets a nineteen. Oh you knew that was gonna happen. But only does two damage to him. Yeah, and the rest. Oh and you get your dodge, of course. And your dodge absorbs one of that. Hmm. Get out of combat, though. That's a problem. No, that's fine. It's not like D&D. &D. You don't need to leave combat. You just need to run away. You do need to test for luck, though. Ooh. To get away. So, um, Zillick, are you jumping through? Me? Yeah. As soon as I've sealed that door, I'm bolting it. Okay. So you've locked the door, you run through, and you vanish from the corridor. Zimrika, you rolled a five. So you managed to extract yourself from the combat, and are you running and jumping in the portal? I called it a portal this time, so you said... <laughs> <laughs> I gave it away, didn't I? For now. Are you running and jumping in? Um. I'll stay in here. <laughs> oh, my map's gone black. Yep, because your token's been deleted. Ah. Off the map. Right, you jump through. And as you jump through, Zimrika, you suddenly find yourself in the heat of the day. Okay. You are standing with the other three mm. on a lonely desert road and you can see far, far away the haze that is possibly Kish. Mm. Now, as you jump through, whoever it was picked up the scroll <laughs> from the dead body just opposite the door to the statue room that you drop you, the the scroll that you tucked into your belt drops out and you pick it up and when you pick it up let me just um resize it slightly so that we can actually see we can get it on the screen it appears to be a map can you see it tell me when you can see that
takes a few seconds to arrive. So it's a, a roughly drawn map saying to Beltan one ear from Grold in the Butcher. And then there is an arrow pointing to something that says big treasure here in round room under dome according to Zelnax the seer. And in the bottom corner is scrawled dead city. So you might need to say that again because it broke and up. I also that. suggest yes, yeah, so when you're loading the app, you stop talking <laughs> until we tell you it's loaded. Yeah, but you know what Alan Partridge says: dead air is a crime. Yeah. Treasure. <laughs> so uh, has everyone got the map? Treasure map. Yeah. Well, but yeah, you can it's... say something like, "Uploading. I'm well, loading a map." That's fine, fine. You see, because I'm still recording later, me. The map is loading. Even if you can't hear me, I can pad. Padding's easy. Uh, to Beltan one ear from Grold in the Butcher. Big treasure here in round room under dome according to Zelnax the seer dead city and that is where we will leave the intro session okay so excellent good work um you survived actually and you 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 managed it somewhat easier than i thought you would um but that is where we will leave that we will come back to this in literally a couple of weeks time when we will start recording the the, the campaign proper. Um, so, uh, if you want to uh, follow on with these adventures, uh, be sure to check back. But thank you to Joe Barn, to Zillick, to Zimrika, and to Hulan for tonight. And um, I th think hopefully we'll be seeing a lot more of these four and their adventures across Southern Cool. So thank you very much, and until next time, good, good gaming.